We're also following another breaking news story for you tonight at 6 as police are now searching for the suspect in the murder of world renowned tech CEO and Baltimorean Pava LaPere. I just have a message for Jason Billingsley. Um, if you're out there watching, hopefully you are, every single police officer in Baltimore City, the state of Maryland, as well as the U.S. Marshals are looking for you. We will find you, so I would ask you to turn yourself in to any officer, any police station because we will take you into custody eventually, and then we will turn it over to the state's attorney to prosecute you to the fullest. That was Acting Police Commissioner Richard Worley with a stark warning for this suspect tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and right here on WJZ. And WJZ has stayed on top of this story that is now making nationwide headlines since it broke yesterday. A little bit earlier today, police have confirmed the tech CEO, Pavel LaPere, was the victim of a homicide in Mount Vernon. And within the past hour, as we just mentioned, Police identified the man they say is her killer. We have team coverage for you on the story tonight. Dennis Valera is on West Franklin Street where the victim lived. Well, we begin with Kelsey Kushner at police headquarters for us where investigators just wrapped up a press conference a short time ago. And Kelsey, police certainly firm in their warning that this suspect is armed and dangerous. Rick, Vic, they are certainly hammering home that message. They also, though, are remaining very tight-lipped about this investigation. They're not releasing many details as to what went, what went on inside that apartment complex yesterday. The family of LaPere was inside that meeting when police made that announcement today. They, of course, looked very somber. They were quickly ushered out of the building, and I'm told that they did not want to make any comments uh, to media at this moment. They really do want their space, but we uh, did get a picture of this suspect that police are looking for. If you look at your screen, it's 32-year-old Jason Billingsley. He's wanted for murder of 26-year-old Pava LaPere. Officers say that she was found dead Monday around 11.30 at a Mount Vernon apartment. They say she was found with signs of blunt force trauma. Something very interesting from Acting Police Commissioner Rich Worley tonight. He says that somebody would have had to let Billingsley into that apartment building because it was secure. Again, not releasing many details, though, as to what happened after that. They did Say Billingsley is armed and dangerous. He has a lengthy previous record, including assault and sex offense. Mayor Brandon Scott calling into question why he was even out on the streets as after being a repeat offender. Acting Police Commissioner Richard Worley urged the public to come forward with any information. We ask anyone who may have seen him or knows him or knows his whereabouts to contact police immediately by calling 911. We implore residents to be aware of your surroundings at all times. This individual will kill and he will rape. He will do anything he can um, to cause harm. So please be aware of your surroundings. Now, Mayor Brandon Scott really hammering home the message also that, you know, they will not stop until he is caught and behind bars. Now, I know Dennis Valera has been out in the neighborhood speaking with people who knew her. Dennis, what are people telling you tonight? Kelsey, the sole goal of Pavel LaPere's company, Ecomap, is to help people. And a close friend of hers that I spoke with says that's all she wanted to do. And now that she's gone, the city has lost one of its biggest champions. Hi, all. Um, my name is Pavel LaPere. I'm really excited. Thank you all for coming out here today. Pavel's one of the best of us. And now she's gone. McKeever Conwell first met Pavel LaPere while she was still a student at Johns Hopkins University. He says from the beginning, she had drive. She epitomized what it was to be a dreamer, what it was to be an entrepreneur, right? That's, she's the type of woman I would want to be a mentor to my daughter. And that's what friends say makes her death hit so much harder. Police found LaPere Monday at her apartment on West Franklin Street with signs of blunt force trauma evident on her body. She was going to make Ecomap as successful as she possibly could. LaPere was co-founder and CEO of the company Ecomap, which created resource maps for communities. This work caught statewide and national attention, landing her on the 30 under 30 Forbes list, among other recognitions. She also worked extensively to help other entrepreneurs get started. Conwell says she made sure everyone had a seat at the table. You have this young white woman as a CEO and a young black man as a CEO. You don't see that every day, right? Her team is extremely diverse. Conwell says the pair had a deep love for Baltimore, something Mayor Brandon Scott also noticed, praising her at a news conference earlier. Uh, Pava was a very young, 
talented, devoted Baltimorean, uh, someone that I had the opportunity to get to know over the past few years, who would help anybody that she would see. In a statement, EcoMap said in part, her legacy will live on through the work we continue to do. Reporting live, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.